Where to next? What was that? Let's hope the local... Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. It's opened. More of those red. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura.
The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Time to get out of here. And then you can shed light on the dark of the matter of yourself. My head. At the ready. to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return. They return. From this case, free us. Please. A newborn. Born new from this husk. You know no creature like this. One that is more brain than person. an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Listening, something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. At the helm, we are needed. To the helm we go. We are going to the helm.
your end. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squall. You are no thrall. Vlakith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. Who am I? Your only chance of survival. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the Nymphs. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Keep going. I'll strike you down. I am fury. I am death. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. path. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Time for stragglers. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! The console appears dormant. Nothing. The console remains dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Let's 
Ragnar unlocked those controls next to the pod. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. We need to get out of here before it's our turn. Soul appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? Nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. It could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. Finally. Let us make for the helm. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. Let's have a look. nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. King Yank.
statement. Now. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Let me be told of this thing's falling fast. Got to write it. Taking position. Let's go. Death. 
take this shit, or Zarya will have to Strike! I won't give in. easy these days.
time to leave. No harm in trying. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. As you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Hmm. Alive. 
I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Should mind my step. What's in here? Settlement somewhere nearby. Wretched things. back. One strike could be such a distant prospect. These boots have seen everything. What's hiding here?
sure at all will do the trick. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. My, my. You've been busy. So, did you learn anything about these worms while wandering the ship? Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And anyone that can crash a mind flare ship and walk away seems like a good person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse.
mind flare, and it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion? You can't move, can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Monster. Death is too good for it. Checking supplies, maybe. What's going on with that room? It's unstable. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Waterdeep. Apologies. Usually better at this. A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? Still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. 
You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favour. 